My name is Carl Clemens, and uh, I've most recently been uh, at Stanford University, and uh, am also currently the editor in chief of medical mycology. So the session that uh, I co-chaired with Dr. Tom Patterson today uh, dealt with aspergillus and the establishment of disease, and the session covered a, a, a number of uh, broad areas, and so there's there were a few highlights that I'd like to, to let you in on. So the, one of the highlights of the session was the talk uh, on the impact of aspergillus and aspergillosis on animals, and and also just in general a, a global impact. And I I believe that most people don't really realize that aspergillus infects almost every form of life on the uh, the earth, and there's there's huge economic impacts in uh, because it's a disease of birds, for instance. So there's uh, huge economic impacts in the poultry uh, industry and also in, uh, for example, in oiled uh, sea life, seabirds that uh, become oiled and they go into rehabilitation and many of those birds are, are lost to pulmonary aspergillosis. And it's showed a, a climatology effect where as the climate is warming, we're losing sea fans and sponges to diseases such as aspergillus. So it's tremendous global impact that way. We moved on to uh, things of how Aspergillus uh, infects humans, and um, what what's going on? Sort of more uh, some basic, some clinical, and uh, one of the uh, shorter talks today that was offered was about uh, phosphorylation signaling in the organism itself, and how uh, the loss of this can affect the susceptibility to an antifungal such as a cytokandin, uh, caspofungin, uh, and how important these things are. And it, you can predict that maybe down the road that uh, this particular signaling protein in the organism becomes a target of a drug uh, design or something like that. We had another short talk that was uh, concerning the uh, potential of the way um, granulocytes are induced in, to be donated in granulocyte transfusions, and that, that's done usually with uh, the administration of a granulocyte colony stimulating factor plus a steroid to, to make the donor make more granulocytes. And uh, this particular uh, presentation was demonstrating that the steroid uh, that's used, dexamethasone, can also impair the granulocytes that are being induced and make uh, them not as effective in, in interacting and killing the fungi. So this, this is something that uh, potentially needs to be taken into consideration in granulocyte transfusion uh, therapy and such like that. Uh, we moved on to another talk about lung transplantation and the, the true highlight of that is that uh, the way the transplants are done is the, the uh, vasculature is not totally re hooked up into the uh, donor, from the donor to the recipient tissue, and that that ischemia that results uh, increases iron levels and how the increase in the iron levels increases the pathogenicity of the organism Aspergillus fumigatus and how if you can ameliorate that increase in iron in the tissues that you can ameliorate disease and basically block it and, and this could become uh, a, ch a change of the way lung transplants are done because 50% of the lung transplants uh, are, are infected with aspergillus and they have a shorter survival time. And, and finally, in the, uh, a very similar vein is the use of uh, what is called granulocyte macrophage 
a commonly stimulating factor. And there's been a number of studies over uh, probably the last 20 years of using this particular cytokine as an adjunctive therapy. And the, um, uh, the results have always been questionable, uh, be it in, uh, in the research laboratory, uh, we may be able to show good results or not good results, depends on what we're doing, but how we might want to reconsider the use of this particular uh, cytokine as an adjunctive therapy and reevaluate because of its very beneficial effects in helping uh, the uh, mononuclear cells and the granulocytes in the lung particularly uh, handle and kill aspergillosis. So, you know, maybe the, the real highlights of the session are, are to come and with these talk, talks such as this is the basis for uh, moving therapy and uh, the benefit of patients, moving uh, uh, the importance of aspergillus worldwide in, in with your pets, with, with people, with everything, more to the forefront.